Welcome back everybody. Me and my mum actually went to B&M, that's right, we went to B&M and we just needed a few bits and pieces. She's obsessed with garden ornaments. I went to the kids section and B&M kids section always has the most amazing stuff. And uh, so I actually managed to find some amazing finds. I've got them all right here and I, ca I can't wait to go through them. Uh, first of all, I'm actually gonna show you two that I got from Tesco. Um, this was the last Hot Wheels they had on the shelf and I don't know if you can see it, but it's a Velociraptor. I was like, right, you know what? But it's, it's the last Hot Wheels car in stock. I, I'm having that, that is mine. Clearly, Tesco knew that I was going that day and, and they'd put this on the shelf specially for me so I can't wait to have this up on my shelf. I've actually redecked out my shelves. They're a bit more uh, fancy looking. Uh, I will go through my shelves with you at some point. I've also moved them from the other side of my room to here. So I've got a bit more space, a bit more room. So you can actually see my eyes. Look at this. You can see me. It's crazy. I also got this. I'm not the biggest fan of Thanos, but I just thought it looked kind of cool. So there we go. We have a Thanos dude there. He actually he uh, comes out of it. There was an Iron Man one, but I already have an Iron Man Lego. So I was like, you know what? He, uh, my Iron Man clearly needs someone to punch in the face. This is the guy to do that. I can recreate the ending of Endgame and this time they will all live happily ever after. <laughs> now to get onto the B&M stuff because honestly this, this this was the best find. This this was definitely the best find by far. Look at this! Look at this! I mean it's from Mirror Mirror which is the episode of Star Trek where they end up in the mirror um the alternate universe, the mirror universe and look at this guy Look at this guy, look at Kirk. <laughs> he, he looks so fancy. <laughs> and then we've got Spock with a beard. Didn't know I needed that in my life. And oh, when I saw it on the shelf, I was like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is in the kids section. It says ages 17 plus. <laughs> I love that. I love how it says that. Uh, so I'm going to go through the box for you. Um, so it's 14 point articulation as well on these dolls and that's fantastic. So it means that they've got articulation in their wrists, in their arms so they can move. Uh, they look like they've got articulation so they can move like that as well. But I'm going to open that up. Um, it's pretty good. Liking this setup. Oh, there we go. We've done it. We're in. We're in. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's have a look at the back of this first. So, due to a transport accident during an ion storm, Captain Kirk, Lieutenant Uhura, Scotty and Dr. McCoy from the USS Enterprise found themselves aboard the ISS Enterprise in a parallel universe. There, they discovered a command structure where the benign federation was the brutal empire. Planets were conquered or destroyed and adv <laughs> advancements through assassination was commonplace. Uh, I think this was the episode where uh, the ISS Enterprise Kirk actually assassinated Pike. I believe it's been a long time since I saw it, but I think that's the episode that that was. Uh, Marty Abrams, aka the father of the action figure, has relaunched these figures in response to an overwhelming demand. Mego, Mego, pronounced Mego, <laughs> Corp, was started by his father, David Abrams, not to be uh, confused with JJ Abrams, <laughs> in 1954, I'm not that funny, <laughs> and named his younger brother Howard, who would say, Mego 2! <laughs> Howard later became head of sales for the company Mego Corp. Sold over 20 million of its now standard 8 inch action heroes worldwide and Mego Corporation is proud to take over the fine heritage today. That's quite cute. Oh, I 
I love this guy already. He feels so pliable. He can do the worm. <laughs> so the individual claws are pretty cool. I'm gonna have to get all up in your grill. So here we go. So yes, have I just broken him? No, no. Oh my God, his arm came off there. That was so crazy. Please don't say I broke him. I will cry. My heart, my heart. Do not do that to me, Spock, please. I am sensitive. I, I am a sensitive child. Do not do that to me. <sighs> I, I felt uh, I felt the spirit leave my body. But no, he's actually, he's just very flexible. He's just very flexible and he's very movable. So it just felt like his arm was coming off there. I was like, no, 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 no. Oh, that was his little dagger. <laughs> he's got a lot of movable bits. I don't know where this came from. Yeah, so he's movable here he's movable here he's got a movable wrist uh he's actually got a movable movable body there uh let's see if i can lift this up here because uh his clothes are very much like on for the count but staying there there we go he's got a movable he can he can hula dance uh he's got the movable knees he can do the splits we can uh the shoes don't actually come off. They are part of his A. That is a sexy look right there, isn't it? <laughs> well done, Spock. Very sexy. Um, <laughs> he's got his he's got his blaster right there. I haven't taken the little bit of plastic off that's keeping it in there because quite frankly, I will lose it. <laughs> I know what I'm like. But I'm uh, I'm loving this. He's looking good. I still have no idea where this came from put that in his hand and again neck to there was another one which was just Spock on his own and you could change his head from this one to the original Spock um, and it had the different costumes in but I just wanted this one because it actually had Kirk whereas there was no other ones with Kirk and you need Kirk you, you, you gotta have a Kirk ta-da isn't he pretty? He's got a nice paintwork. He looks nothing like um, Shatner, but uh, like facially, he's nothing like Shatner at all. He doesn't have that handsome face like Shatner did. Yes, I did just say Shatner was handsome because he was. He was a very handsome man. Again, the arms are doing the same thing. So when you lift his arms up, you gotta be careful because they're actually held on with metal. And this, they keep popping out slightly. So you need to lift them and reattach. I love this costume. <laughs> there we go. You can actually see better on this guy. If I can, there, that's his, that's his body. It's all movable. Sorry, Shatner. <laughs> Sorry, Shatner. <laughs> me and my friends used to play a game called Shatner so whenever one of us yelled Shatner we all had to do whatever we were doing like incredibly dramatically so if we were just walking we'd be like no we have to keep going <laughs> it was very amusing for, <laughs> for a long time um, I think every now and then if I still hang out with that group of people if one of us shouts Shatner we still do it but I haven't I haven't seen them for quite a while obviously being in lockdown but uh, hopefully after lockdown I'll get to see them again and I might uh, I might retake up the Shatner again you've got his knees bendable bendable knees and he's got these uh, <laughs> sexy uh, knee socks on mmm beautiful he just needs a he just needs some suspenders and we'll be right there that that's it what is this what is this oh i see it's the back of the belt uh this is the back of the belt here so it it looked a bit odd but because it's given him a, a weirder weird lump but the they actually fit in just there and again I'm guessing his just goes just like that just like that just like that again his paint work on his face is actually so much better you can actually tell that's Leonard Nimoy like it's not 
fabulous, fabulous. It's not fabulous. It's fabulous. I've turned into John Barrowman. Uh, <laughs> so it's not great, but at the same time, it's not the worst paint job I've ever seen on one of these kites of kites. Why can I not speak today? Uh, and one of these types of dolls. Uh, great ears there. Flat to the head, so they don't actually like pop out or anything. Where I know some, some do, some don't. But so that's those two guys. Um, happy, happy find, happy find. They're fantastic. Love these guys, and um, I've made it look like they're holding hands. Oh, the first ship, <laughs> my OTP. Con! I know, I know, I know. Uh, so this guy is the same brand uh, that Migo, Migo, Migo 2. So again, 18 inch action figure, Khan Noonien Singh. Uh, 14 point articulation. See, for these two, it said 17 plus ages. For this one, it's 18, eight, it's eight plus. <laughs> uh, so apparently villain is for eight year olds and the heroes uh, actually, are they the heroes? I mean, he full on killed Pike. So uh, <laughs> I guess these, uh, these, uh, these guys wouldn't be particularly for children, but I mean, the wrath of Khan. I had to get him, he was the last one in the shop. Uh, there was a few more of these ones, but he was the last one and I knew that I had to get him because I would have regretted not doing that. So, fun. Oh, got nice artwork on the back of this. Y'all know me. I don't like to keep things in boxes. I really don't. But at the same time, I'm going to keep the back piece of this. I'm going to actually, I'll keep the box. But I want to take them out of it because I like to display them, <laughs> and I like to I like to play with them. I do. I really like. I like. I, I'm I'm a child at heart. I actually do like to play with my toys. <laughs> For those of you who don't like to see unboxings of such magnitude, close your eyes now. Well, here we have Khan again. His arms do the same thing. Careful with them shoulders and arms wrists let's see these sexy legs wait he's not wearing suspenders he's got boots on he's got feet he's got toes oh and he's got uh ugh look at that <laughs> i apologize profusely <laughs> and again He's, he can do the worm if he wants to do the worm. Woo! Uh, his head. He's actually got a good face. He's got a pretty good face there. He's got really, really, like, actually really nice. That's attached to him. Uh, so this is actually, it's stuck to him, so it doesn't move. It's like a glue. And then you've got the belt that's there uh, that can actually undo. I'm quite happy with those three guys. There we go. It's like the villain trio. <laughs> so if they're all evil, would that make him a good guy? Hmm. Back. <laughs> that would be the alternative, wouldn't it? <laughs> Get yourselves ready, because this guy, this guy, this guy. Oh my god, look at him! Look at him, he's so sexy. Look at this guy. I was so stoked to see this. Uh, first, I will show you the box. So he's a 14 inch action figure. I mean, he's pretty cool, he's pretty big. This is, I, I, this is him next to me, so you can see how big he is. I'm not just going, hey! This should be my thumbnail. There we go, that's my thumbnail. <laughs> Me and Batman, besties for life. Oh, I'm curling up on the floor, excuse me. He's out! He's free! Oh, his batarangs. No, he's not his batarang. 
It's bat Ryan's bat shape. This is not a bat. This is a a grabby thing that helps him climb buildings. It's the bat climber. This is the bat climber. That's what I meant. The grabby thing. Oh, he's so cool. I'm so happy with this guy. Right, I'm coming closer. Right, look at him. Oh, his knees are like double. No, they're not. I thought they were a double thingy, but they're not. But look at the knee. He can really bend. Uh, let's take that shoe off. Oh, his feet bend. Look at the little onesie feet. <laughs> That's really cute. Oh no, it is double articulation. Wow, look at that knee. <laughs> um, so it's double articulation in that knee so he can really like, wah, do that. Um, uh, the cape, oh my God, look at the cape. It comes right out. He can actually like, wah. here we go. He's actually so big. He's really big. Uh, his face there he's actually got such a nice paint job on that face of his uh, his eyes are beautiful it's like he's got the detail here on the head and the ears um, his head isn't move oh, it's moving there it is his head does move oh uh, yeah he's got that movement here in the center just there uh, he's got a lot going on he's got that movable movable wrist i'm actually gonna cut these i think so then he can pull it around and be like hum, hum. there was a joker and there was a superman and i'll get them at a later date but i will try and get the three of them there was only one joker left so i'm hoping he stays in for at least a little bit but they were only 20 quid like you can't go wrong with that 14 inch 14 points of articulation wonderful i mean any collector, like any Batman collector, any toy collector, this is absolutely for you. You would adore it. He's just, he's so well done. He was actually the last Batman in as well because everybody loves Batman. I want to find a Nightwing in this size. Or even this size, I don't care, I just want a Nightwing. I just want a Nightwing. I got myself a dinosaur. A big boy. This one, there's nothing much to him. He's literally just a statue. He is just what you see is what you get. He's got a lovely paintwork to him. Obviously, he's mass produced. Uh, what have we got? It's Dinosaur World, $3.99. So you can't really go wrong with that. Thought he was really cute. There's lots of different ones you can collect. There's the T-Rex, which I've got here. Uh, you can get the Brachiosaur, which I love Brachiosaurs, they're my favourite. Um, Brachiosaurs and Dilophosaurus, they are my favourite dinosaurs. Um, you get Stegosaurus, Triceratops, uh, is that a Carnotaur? That looks like a Carnotaur that you can get this there. And that looks like another version of a Stegosaurus, but I can't quite tell from the picture because it's slightly blurry. And I also got another dinosaur thing. Uh, this is called Gigantic Dinosaur Egg. So you just add water, stick it in, and it grows. There was a one that was like this big, but it was it was nearly a tenner, and I was like, I've just spent 20 quid on Batman. But this was only 250. You can't go wrong. Uh, he's gonna grow. Uh, place your egg into a container of water, ensuring the egg is completely submerged. Your egg will start to break and your dinosaur will start to hatch within 24 to 48 hours. My goodness, that's going to take some time. I'll have to do that pretty soon. Uh, Always ensure the water level is topped up so the egg remains submerged. When the egg is completely broken open, leave the open egg in the water and your pet dinosaur will continue to grow to full size within five to eight days so it's gonna take a week for this guy to come to fruition i'm gonna have to leave him somewhere like in a glass or something just on a shelf and just wait and watch like are you ready are you cooked are you done uh it's uh it's the common room but it's in a little book 
and I got the Slytherin one. You could have got a Gryffindor one, but I'm a Slytherin. So I got the Slytherin common room there and I can't wait to start building this. So that's two Lego things that I've got to build now and I'm really excited. I need a proper, um, like a glass case or something for my Lego stuff because I do love my Lego. I hope you've enjoyed watching this today. Uh, if you have, please give me a like, give me a subscribe. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments. I always love hearing from you. Um, hopefully I will see you next week. And well, stay geeky and have a good day. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Bye.